Get to the moon, then come back safely. Well, that was a mission for the Apollo program, but now we want to stay a little longer. Josh Marshall shows us how the University of Houston is trying to help. We know how the Eagle has landed. to get to the moon. They're setting up the flag now. But how do we stay there permanently? You can see the stars and stripes. To pull it off, NASA needs educated minds. The physical lander lives on my desktop right now. <laughs> Tyler Gilliland is 26 years old. I try to be humble. <laughs> Two decades ago, he watched planes in the New Mexico desert and dreamt of landing on the moon. So I think that was the moment I knew. Gilliland chased his dreams to the world's only Master of Science degree in space architecture program. Hidden gem, yes, I would probably say that. Of course, at the University of Houston. Our students base their designs on uh, real knowledge and real technology. Dr. Olga Bonova's space architecture program, known as SIXA, teaches students to make human spaceflight and space settlements possible. They're coming out prepared for that type of environment and they're not afraid to speak up. I'm living my dream job. Gilliland helped plan this Mars settlement before graduating and getting his first job, building our next lunar lander with Houston-based intuitive machines. If I didn't go through 6 and I didn't go through, you know, I didn't get this internship, I wouldn't be living the dream. And we're going to have much more on Houston's role in the Apollo 11 mission in our one-hour special, One Giant Leap, the Moon and Beyond. It airs Saturday at 7 o'clock right here on KHOU 11.